This is the culmination, you know, of decades of research. Ultimately, the future would be is that you wouldn't have to go on an organ transplant list, that you would have the availability of this unlimited supply of healthy young organs. As experiments in pig organ transplants have ramped up in the last few years, companies are racing to get ready for clinical trials as soon as next year to test this new technology on a larger scale. The Associated Press got an exclusive look at United Therapeutics' new facility where pigs for clinical trials are raised. All of this happens in the mountains of Virginia. The cloning lab, the research farm, and the facility where they are raising the pigs for future clinical trials. In the cloning lab, you know, we clone every week, every Wednesday and Thursday. Right now, these genetically modified piglets are all cloned, but they hope in the future to have traditional breeding instead of cloning. Scientists start with a pig egg cell, and they carefully suck out the DNA. Right, dear, I'm trying to get out. This leaves them with a cell with no genes. Later that afternoon, they add genes that have been edited to make the pig's organs more suitable for people. These gene edits make sure the pigs only grow to a certain size or block the production of proteins that could trigger rejection. At the end of the day, at the end of the cloning day, the embryos come here, we do the embryo transfer surgery, and then they go back into one of these barns and gestate until clone pigs are born. This is a 10 gene pig, so this pig has 10 genetic modifications, has four, pigs inactive, four pig genes inactivated, and has six human genes. And these pigs are the right size for a human transplant. So this pig is around 80 to 100 kilograms, and that's the size that would be needed for a kidney or a heart transplant into a patient. These genetically modified pigs live at the research farm, where organs are retrieved for animal-to-human transplant experiments. I think we've hit a point where, you know, the data from the non-human primate study says this is safe and efficacious in the time limits that we can do it. You know, the decedent studies are telling us that there's no train wrecks, that there's no immediate rejection, and, you know, that the FDA is now realizing there's a body of evidence that says this is going to work. United Therapeutics hopes that clinical trials are around the corner, which leads us to their third facility, the first of its kind designated pathogen-free facility. This is a facility uh, that is intentionally designed uh, to keep out and exclude pathogens that are of a concern specifically for humans and or pigs. This building doesn't look like a farm, but this is where the herd of pigs that will eventually supply organs for clinical trials are raised. They are behind a protected barrier within the building. Everything going in and out of the barrier is decontaminated with chemicals or UV light. It also means every person who goes in to care for the pigs goes through a rigorous timed shower to make sure no unwanted germs can get to the pigs, making these some of the cleanest pigs in the world. The FDA has to decide whether that body of data is sufficient to allow us to go forward with clinical trials. This is the culmination of everything in the field of xenotransplantation is happening in the last two or three years, and the next two or three years are gonna be super exciting as we go to full-on clinical trials for heart and kidney.